which want, I got what you need. Me. Shut which want, I got what you need. You can't fight news. I tell you what, Keith Thurman, he does not want no he want no parts and no Earl Spence, man. In January 2018, the first month of the new year, Thurman made it very clear. No Spence in 2018. No, no unit. That, that basically means no unifications, and I'm holding the welterweight division hostage. You know, that's what it means to a certain, I think the majority of boxing fans get it. They get it. You know, Keith Thurman ain't looking to fight the best competition out there. He ain't. And, I know, and it's weird because. There was that rumor out here that Keith Thurman was gonna fight your boy, Jesse Vargas. And I like Jesse Vargas. Solid fighter, he stopped Saddam Ali. He looked better than ever in that fight. And then he, he sort of lost a step and he fought Manny Pacquiao and he wasn't, he, I didn't see that guy who fought Jesse Vargas. I, sorry, I didn't see that guy who fought Saddam Ali. And he looked, he looked excellent in that fight. The fight against Saddam Ali was basically Jesse Vargas in that 12th round versus Tim Bradley. But that was him for the whole fucking fight. That's the Jesse Vargas I saw in Saddam Ali. And, you know, for one reason or the other, Keith Thurman had to admit in that Showtime press conference that, you know what? It's probably not going to be Jesse Vargas. So, it's not, he didn't want no parts of Earl Spence. And he, coming off an injury, he doesn't fight, he didn't want to fight no Jesse Vargas. So, it's very clear to me that at this stage, Keith Thurman is going for some, he's, he's going out, he's going out in the woods and he's, he's looking for some cherries right now. This dude cherry picking. This, this is the one time I can say, Keith Thurman, man, you cherry picking an opponent right now. For your fight in May, and he's he's picking the you better not pick that wrong cherry, you know. Once upon a time, Danny Garcia was cherry picking, and he ran into Mauricio Herrera, and that that was that was the wrong cherry. You know, one time Manny Pacquiao was cherry picking, and he ran into Jeff Horn, and that was the wrong cherry. So you never know. You never know when cherry picking goes wrong. You really never know. Will, will, will it go wrong for Keith Thurman and May? Who knows? We have no indication of who this dude is fighting. As far as I know, Jesse Vargas was a legitimate, viable option. And Keith Thurman turned it down. That's, that's, from what I understand, that's basically what happened. Man, what the... What the fuck is, you know, Keith Thurman, you want to talk about a falling from grace. The dude became unified welterweight champion and is, he's now looked at like, like, I don't want to call him a villainous figure in boxing, but he's becoming, he's, he's sort of becoming that to where his, his own fans are starting to turn on this dude. And I'll be the first to admit I'm a Keith Thurman fan. But I'm not a fan of holding a division hostage for your own self-benefit. You know? I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, absolutely not. No way does the premier division in boxing, the 147 pound welterweight division, the division that, you know, developed guys like Oscar De La Hoya in, in prime moments, memorable moments of boxing, De La Hoya Trinidad, Trinidad Vargas, Mayweather, De La Hoya, Mayweather Hatton, Pacquiao Hatton, Pacquiao De La Hoya, these memorable moments of these great fighters of the last decade. You're in that division, Keith. 
You are in the division of legends. Act like act like a fucking legend for once in your life and take on that that fucking guy that's stomping on your couch. Take on that guy. You know, back when Sergio Martinez <laughs> wanted nothing to do with Gennady Golovkin, he slowly started losing respect from from boxing fans. And and there was a lot of hardcore fans that that stuck with Sergio until Miguel Cotto showed up. And who know, who knows what, what might happen to Keith Thurman? I think he's I, he's still a very skilled fighter. He still has knockout power. But you saw flashes of what could happen if you go to the body. You saw flashes of it against Luis Calazo, where Thurman certainly looked hurt to the body at least once. Certainly did. And, and make no mistake about it, I, 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 my post-fight video is still up, where I said, you know, Thurman, he got hurt. He had that one slip up, but it was a solid performance. He beat Colazzo. But who is he going to fight? Who is he going to fight in May? Which cherry is he going to pick in May? Because as far as I know, Keith Thurman to me, he ain't no one. He ain't no one-time Thurman anymore. He's duck. This is duck time Thurman. This is Keith duck time Thurman. Because when it comes to Earl Spence, it's time to duck. Time to duck. Time to. Time to look for cover, man. It's time for time for Earl Spence to, man. I I, I want to see. I want to see. This year should be the rise of Earl Spence, and I hope it. I, I don't want to say I hope it's the fall of Keith Thurman, but I I, I want to see Keith. You know, I want to see Keith Thurman step up, and prove all these naysayers wrong, and take a take a legit fight. Take a legit fight. It doesn't have to be Earl. You know, it doesn't have to be Earl. Jesse Vargas is a perfect option. I think that's a great opponent. Who else is out there? It's a good question. Who else is out there in the welterweight division? Who else is out there? I don't know, Manny Pacquiao, man. I don't know Manny Pacquiao want that work. Manny Pacquiao's supposed to be looking for a fight in April. That's damn close to May. That would be interesting if he got an offer for a Manny Pacquiao fight. I, I would really think that, that that may be something Bob Aaron would be interested in. It may be. Yeah, I, I, you know, I know I know he wants to remake. Keith Thurman wants the winner of this Brandon Rios Danny Garcia fight. He's been talking like he wants that fight as well. So Man, I don't know, man. I gotta look at these rankings and, and see who's out there for Keith Thurman. You know, Al Heyman's side. Does Al Heyman have a boatload of welterweights? Not exactly. You know, would Adrian Bronner be interested in stepping up? I don't know. He's got to deal with Omar Figueroa right now. I mean, Keith Thurman? Shit, man. You know, Kell Brook's supposedly fighting uh, this dude Rabchenko in April. I'd like to see a Kell Brook Keith Thurman fight. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to see that fight. Uh, but who else is out there? Who, who, who else is really out there for Keith Thurman? And I know he's looking for that cherry. But who's it going to be? You guys let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any information on Keith Thurman's next opponent. Who is Duck Time going to fight next? The King Fight News. Y'all know what it is. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about Keith Thurman. Is he ducking? Is he ducking Earl Spence, or is he just taking his time? My God, 12 months is a long fucking time to make up your mind on Earl Spence. And you know what? He could he could come back 12 months from now and say he's injured. He can say, you know, Earl Spence, I don't want to fight him. Yeah, he could. You know, if you didn't want to fight him fucking three years ago, now he's got a belt and you still don't want to fight him. You want to wait it for a year. God damn it, man. Keith Thurman. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. I thought I thought he was a real champion. I really did. But I can't say the same. I, I, I'd like to hear 
what Dan Birmingham has to say about Keith Thurman. That's his trainer, by the way. I'd love to see. I'd love to hear what Winky Wright thinks about Keith Thurman and the moves he's making right now. Because man, you think you would? You know, I'm sure. From one degree to another, Keith Thurman looked up to Winky Wright. Uh, since they were both trained by uh, Dan Birmingham, I, I would expect Keith Thurman to conduct himself as Winky Wright would uh, if he were to be put in that position. And I'm, I have no doubt in my mind Winky Wright would take on that challenge. And I'm shocked that Keith Thurman isn't up to that. So you guys let me know what you think. No Spence in 2018. Keith Thurman, he's looking for that cherry right now. Who's it going to be? He can fight these.